Hello and welcome to Indus News live from Islamabad. I am Muneeb Hamid and these are the headlines. As Pakistan celebrates its 74th Independence Day today, President Arif Alvi says Islamabad will continue to highlight Indian oppression and siege in occupied Kashmir as the ambassador of Kashmiris on all international forums. In his message, Prime Minister Imran Khan said Pakistan in the past seven decades confronted multiple internal and external challenges with resilience. Pakistan is holding festivities with social distancing protocols today. Kabul says it has freed 80 of the 400 Taliban prisoners whose release was approved by the last week's lawyer Jirgam. The National Security Council says the government has taken the step to speed up efforts for intra-Afghan talks and a lasting nationwide ceasefire. Israel says its warplanes have targeted multiple locations on the Gaza Strip for the fifth time this week. The Defense Ministry says it struck Hamas aerial defense post and underground infrastructure in response to last week's explosive balloons. No casualties have been reported from the raid so far. Palestine says UAE has betrayed Jerusalem and the Palestinian cause by striking a deal with Israel on the normalization of relations. In a statement, President Mahmoud Abbas said the Palestinian leadership rejects the surprising announcement. The Palestinian Foreign Ministry has also recalled its ambassador to UAE on the orders of the President. The U.S. has reported 1,131 deaths from COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, taking the toll to over 167,000 with more than 5 million cases. In India, 1,007 more people have died, increasing the toll to over 48,000. Meanwhile, Pakistan has reported 14 deaths overnight, while the active cases have reduced to nearly 16,000. The global number of deaths has crossed 759,000 with over 20.9 million infected. Well, that's all for now. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news. Take care.